Today we will teach you how to use a ruler in science. A ruler is used to measure the length of an object. Does anyone know what, about what length is? Length is the measurement of something from one end to the other. What unit can you use for measuring length? You can use many units for length, including inches, feet, or yards. Do you know what metric units are? Yes, millimeters, centimeters, and meters. Good, we are going to use centimeters. When using a ruler, you start from the zero. You find the correct measurement by marking where the object ends. I'm going to measure the index card to see how long it is. As you can see, the index card is 12.5 centimeters in length. How did you find that answer? When you line up the start from the zero, you can couch each centimeter with the lines. The object's length is between 12 and 13 centimeters. To see the exact measurement, you can count the millimeter lines between. The object stops at 12 and goes to 5 millimeters. Next, we are going to teach you how you measure volume. Volume is the amount of space an object takes up. Does anyone know the formula for measuring the volume of a regular shaped object? The formula for volume is length times width times height. Do you know which units you can use for volume? There are many units for volume, including millimeters cubed, or for very large objects, meters cubed. Correct. Today we will use centimeters, which is one hundredth of a meter. The object we are going to measure is a tissue box. As you can see, the tissue box is... 22.6 centimeters in length, 12.1 centimeters in width, and the height of it is 4.9 centimeters. Do you know what the volume would be? You place the L for 22.6, the W for 12.1, and the H for 4.9. After multiplying the numbers, you would see the volume of the tissue box is 1,339.8. 954 centimeters. Incorrect. Why? The volume is always cubed because it is a three-dimensional object. Good job. Now you know how to use a ruler and how to measure the length and volume of an object.